What's up, Devils? Head on back to answer more goddamn questions. Questions we're going over today. Here on the video. If you don't like the brutal stuff, go and dress a Barbie doll. Leave it for the actual tough devils. Got that right, goddammit. Fucking death metal and the extreme metal music shit. That's for the fucking men. For the people with actual toughness. Fucking sack, cojones, thick fucking skin. You know what I mean? Got to show you none of that. As far as I'm concerned, just go dress a fucking Barbie down, God damn it. All the way at the bottom. What's this fucking tool bag saying? Mark tire me. My IQ is now lower than before. I watched this video. <laughs> well, why? What did I say in there? Sounds like you're one of the guys dressed in the motherfucking Barbie doll. Bah, bah. But I don't recall exactly what I fucking said. And you, the thing is, is I love when guys kind of make comments like that or rip on it. It's like, you must have already had a low IQ. If, if you hated the video that much or the topic or the conversation, why did you watch the video? Like, anytime I see something where I, it's not of my interest, I can, I can find out within 30 to 60 seconds of the video start. I just change the goddamn channel. So you sitting there from the beginning to end with a fucking goddamn fucking pissed off face and goddamn smoke coming out of your ears. No, your low IQ didn't go down from watching the video. The IQ was already goddamn down. Go dress the Barbies, brah, brah. That's what it sounds like you're into. Joe Darkness and Evil, which I'm sure he got that user ID from j Dog bringing him up. You're welcome for that, goddamn Joe. Giving you goddamn uh, publicity over here. <laughs> Keeping your name alive. That phone call, funniest fucking shit I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Total classic. Anyways, what the fuck do you got to say? j Dog, you're in this for fun and giggles, yeah? Question marks? I mean, yeah, for the most part. Uh, why don't you take the underground seriously? <laughs> According to a low IQ boy below, it sounds like I fucking do take it seriously. Maybe because you are a fan and don't play an instrument and get truly into the scene. Pfft, what is a, what is not playing an instrument have to do with anything? Fucking half these bozos that do play instruments that we've talked about 10 million fucking times on this channel. They don't take the shit seriously either. The only thing they're taking serious is lining up the goddamn bank account. So I'm telling you right now, that's what 95 fucking percent of them are on. I mean, again, the guys that I brought up a million fucking times. Do you honestly think they're doing it because it's for the metal, dude? It's for the undergrounds because I like the heavy music. No, they're doing it for a fucking paycheck, and that's it. Not all the guys. I'm sure some of the guys are still passionate, too. And, you know, collecting a little bling-bling on the side. What's wrong with that? You know, why not kill two birds with one stone? I agree with that. But the fucking Jeff Walkers, the Tom G's, the, the, the uh, David Vincents, the goddamn uh, the David Dave Mustangs, the, I mean... What the fuck? Any of the guys in Slayer, you think they're not just doing it strictly for a fucking paycheck? I'm not saying they started off for strictly as a paycheck. I'm sure the first five, maybe even ten years of their career, it wasn't. But it damn sure is in the last fucking 30 years for any of those fucking guys. Maybe not 30 years for all of them. But, you know, you, know, you get the fucking point. Third album on for sure, it was strictly for a goddamn paycheck. So they play an instrument. So what are you talking about? They ain't taking the goddamn scene seriously. So I ain't got nothing to fucking do. What the fuck is he seeing and experience our rituals firsthand? Simple and sideline bench warmer of the call. I don't know exactly what the fuck you're trying to get at. So I don't, you make up your goddamn minds over here, fucking devils. Do I take this shit too seriously or am I, or am I just a big goddamn goofy ass clown over here? Which the fuck is it? Toward a fucking low IQ boy. That, that's, on, that's on you, dude. I ain't lowering shit. I was just educating your ass. I'm just saying. Go play with the goddamn Barbie dolls. He, he, according to him, he's making it, he's insinuating that I'm taking this shit too goddamn seriously. What do you mean? If you don't listen to heavy shit, you fucking dress in a Barbie doll. Again, I don't remember what the fuck we talked about in this goddamn particular video, but that was the title, so it, had, it probably had something to do with it. He's insinuating that, and Joe Darkness and Evil saying, I'm just all giggles and fucking clowning around. I got a goddamn uh, goddamn red nose and a fucking uh, wig. Goddamn clown makeup on over here for the scene. So which the fuck is it? Can't win with these guys. Mike Violet, damn, j Dog called it. How How was it they made the Ninja Turtles gay? I was wondering the same goddamn thing. I thought the uh, movie, comeback movie, I saw the first one, not the second one. It was dumb. It wasn't, like, sissified. It was just like, what the fuck? Why, why are these turtles goddamn 22 feet tall? What are these fucking mini, these are goddamn mini T-Rexes. When the hell were they like that? That was just kind of dumb. The uh, when I the shit that I saw where I'm like, dude, you guys are fucking non heteroiding up on these fucking things. Was the cartoon where they look like um, almost like claymation, and that like the turtles are, like all skinny and shit. I don't know what year it was. I never seen it, but uh, I mean, I saw. It. I mean, but when I saw it, it was probably around flashing through a TV, probably around two thousand 
2013, I would say, somewhere around there. 2013, 2014. Why do I remember around those years? Uh, there's reasons I'm not going to get into. There's boring reasons anyways. Um, and I saw him. I'm like, what the fuck is this? What, what, man, they really butchered this, god damn it. Um, but yeah, the movies, it was just fucking dumb. Goddamn, yeah, Shaquille O'Neal fucking turtles. The dumbest shit I've ever seen. Goddamn question marks, devils. Here we go. Let's get some question marks from my fucking uh, sewer bomb. Goddamn it. Seems like it's always the same goddamn devils. Fucking, I gotta rely on to ask the questions. Quit being shy, goddamn. Put some question marks in these goddamn fucking videos. Well, it takes three weeks to get to it. It's not that I take three weeks to get to it. It's just there was that much of a backlog. And hey, that way you get a video every day. If I got enough fucking goddamn material. If I, if I just do, if I go skip all the rest backlog, let's just get caught up. Let's go to the current video. What if there's a day where there's barely any questions? I'm going to run out of fucking shit. Then you guys don't get a fucking video. So don't put them in there. I'll eventually. I just go in order, God damn it. I mean, uh, you're not that patient. Can't wait a little bit of time. So I might get to that question. Put it in there, God damn it. Especially if it's something good and I actually see it. I'll answer it for sure. Yeah. So anyways, question. J-Dog. Frank from Supplication gets a pass for the Yo Guy lingo. But what's with the jazz hands? <laughs> what was your first reaction to it? It's oddly strange. It makes me laugh in a good way. Funny you say that. Uh, the exact same reaction. Yeah. I do know what you're talking about kind of with the blast. He goes, <laughs> he does that. He just, I don't know. He kind of fits the bill. In general, for most other death metal bands, they wouldn't get a pass. They would get the fucking uh, thrown under the bus by the goddamn dog, a.k.a. Frozen Soul. Um, but for whatever reason, yeah, uh, it just, it works for suffocation. It works for Frank. Um, so I, I, it just, it, yeah, it just works. Everyone else, take a fucking hike. Rah, rah. This ain't fucking Limp Biscuit show. But yes, Frank definitely does come off as a bit a bit Limp Biscuit for lack of better goddamn lack of better description. But um it, it fits the fucking bill. Yo, man, the first two Venom albums are mandatory. Oh well, fuck yeah, who the fuck doesn't think that? I mean, granted, that's that's the problem. <laughs> There's people up there that do think that, which blows my dude. That's when you know you're meeting a fucking bozo too. And they they still exist in 2023. It's one thing in the 90s; it was a little harder to find shit. But and I'm sure all you guys know when you're out and about, the Panini's douches, the fucking Starbucks line canoes, or whoever the fuck you bumped, they're like, "Oh fuck yeah, man! I listen to metal. You got a metal shirt on? They come out. You, you realize there's guys that still they don't even know who Venom is. That is like. That that's just borderline fucking. What am I? Who am I talking to? Sloth from the fucking Goonies? Like how the hell are you this goddamn fucking brain dead fucking stupid? And you can claim you're in this genre. It's one thing I didn't say it. Like, I went up to a guy with a Garth Brooks shirt or a goddamn Britney Spears shirt or a goddamn Tupac shirt. Yeah, there's my outdated references again. Goddamn it! But I'm, like someone that's not even that music, but they claim they're into. Even if it isn't a Pantera fan, even if it is the goddamn System of the Down fan or for um uh, uh the Mushroom Homo. And, uh, and all that, the Megadeths and all that. It's like, at this point in 2023, if you kind of liked heavy metal music, it's, it's it's annoying. I guess you can kind of put those bands in there, even the Mushroom Heads. I mean, as much as they rap and shit, I guess they have parts that would consider at least trendy metal, right? Whatever. You like that kind of, you're in that kind of music. How in the fuck have you not stumbled across Venom? How is it even possible? Because a lot of this shit, I know, I know these motherfuckers ain't buying records or CDs, um, physical format. I'm sure there's a couple here and there, exceptions to the rule. But for the most part, what are they doing? They're doing it online, whether it be digital downloads from like Bandcamp, the other site administrators, or they're YouTubing it, right? You would just stumble across it accidentally or see people, again, if you're on YouTube, seeing the top uh, comments or whatever. If you're searching music, listen to music at all. How the fuck have you not heard of fucking Venom? Again, when I hear that and they're somewhat interested in any metal music, even the bands I don't like, the Panteras, etc., I automatically, looking at a fucking brain dead, sloth from the fucking Goonies, full-blown fucking box of chocolate, chocolate moron. It doesn't even make sense. Like, what, what the, like, that's it, like, this is just, this is ridiculous at this point. It, it, quite frankly, it was kind of ridiculous in the 90s, but again, at least there wasn't all these, these, um, online ways of finding shit in two seconds like that. You know what I mean? You at least had it still kind of search. 80s was even way harder. Kind of get it then. Even then, in the 80s, it was, it was, if you went to records, that's kind of what I'm getting at too, even the 80s and 90s, where I kind of don't give you a pass, but it's, 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 it's more understandable then than it is now. In the 80s and 90s, if you were a legitimate music fan, again, even if it was the Cold Chambers and shit, 
Even those people, they were going to record stores and buying either CDs or LPs. So, what the fuck does that mean? It means you were going inside stores to buy this shit, and you were flipping through records, or you're going in there and there's posters on the wall. How have you never heard of fucking metal? I guess it's less the first week on the job, you just got into fucking metal this week. Okay, fine. You haven't stumbled across awesome metal. But if you're 16, 17, 18 years old, and you've been listening for you know, five years, not heard of metal? To me, I just you're just a fucking moron. You know what I mean? So yeah, first two Venoms are mandatory. But I know some fucking doink ass seventeen year old kid is gonna come in and say something stupid. That's not even black metal. Only Vlad Tepes and all this other bullshit that you can't even whatever the fuck even read their goddamn logo, pronounce it's got no riffs, and the shit sounds all exactly the same. And how do I know they motherfucking think that? Because anytime we get any more of that uh, bullshit in, it's crap I've never even heard of in my life. Nine times out of ten, can't even pronounce the band's name. And it all looks the same. It looks like the Vlad Tepes, Belketeer, mutilation stuff, where it's just a scribbly goddamn drawing and all black and white. That's cool. That's kind of the shtick. But it's like, it literally all sounds the same. It's one big blur together. It's like, dude, there's nothing even catchy about this. Nothing breakdown, no sing-alongs. Oh, what's supposed to be depressing black mode? This isn't even depressing me. This is just, shut this off. This is just flat out fucking annoying. It's not even that. So, but tells hand over fist. So again, uh, with those people though, they're not music fans. They're just literally in it primarily for image. I 1,000% believe that. Because even like, as much as I bust their balls, the, the fucking Panthers, the Cold Chambers, the Mushroom Heads, not my thing. And I just, I bust their balls because, yeah, they, what's happening to that? And it's this is a bunch of fucking uh, rappers, and it's basically in the same league as Limp Bizkit. I'm like, oh, how's this Limp Bizkit? Like, they're doing the same goddamn shit. That's why. But at the same time, I can honestly... Believe it or not, I can understand why someone would like that shit. I can see why they could think it's catchy and yo, yo, yo. Not my thing, but I get why someone likes it. I just call them out for just being stupid. For, again, never heard of fucking Venom. That, I can understand like it. A lot of this just cabal black metal where they're just trying to outdo the next guy. There's no riffs, etc. I don't understand how anyone likes that. Like, this isn't even music. This is just a bunch of monotonous fucking bullshit. But those are the guys that will claim, yeah, fucking Venom sucks or something. I know that's kind of a new thing in like, what, the last 10 years, which is completely ridiculous. If you don't like them, your opinions mean nothing to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's the truth. What's your favorite deceased demo? You know, it's funny. Uh, favorite deceased demo. <laughs> why, why, why is that funny? The uh, Radiation Year CD. I literally just listened to my car again just the other day. The deceased demos are hands down some of the greatest demos ever. And I've always thought that. You remember how I told you guys several times on this channel, majority of the time what I'm listening to is like demo, demo de de uh, kind of like, like be considered reissues or discography disc or compilation disc when it's all their demos. Like two weeks ago, I listened to uh, Crucifer. Uh, that was fucking great. Early 90s, that the first album is just, I mean, first disc is just the album. Second disc is all their demos. The album's good. Uh, the demos are even better. I mentioned the Fatal, uh, the Grave Demos disc. Uh, the ne necropsy, but uh, there's also the deceased, and that's uh, that's some of the best demos to, to underrated. The thing is, it's funny too. Is deceased is that dude? They get so fucking uh, not the credit they deserve because even with a lot of the older guys, they talk about first generation death metal, right? The first generation death metal. What is it? It's possessed, death, massacre, war angel, obituary. Who else is in there? Deceased, one hundred percent. Evil Side of Religion demo. Go and listen to that. As far as I'm concerned, if you don't know that, I'm not going to go as far as calling you a goddamn poser-ass canoe, but you are after hearing this if you, if you don't know it, because you, you, there's no reason you shouldn't know that. One of the greatest demos ever. Fucking King's vocals over the top, sick as fuck, and there's nobody to this date that sounds like it. The demo is 1986. One year after Seven Churches. But yet, everybody likes Asphyx and Pestilence and, and Gore Guts more than Deceased. I'm sorry, Deceased is way more of an important band than all three of those goddamn bands. Again, I like some of the albums and releases by those bands, so chill the fuck out. I know some fucking tampon boy, Vag, Vag boy is going to come over here with the fucking all up in arms. It's just the greatest fucking thing ever. Not, not really. First two albums are good. They had those clunkers in between that were boring as fucking piss. They pulled that we're back fucking bullshit, and the comeback albums were fucking decent, but kind of overrated as a motherfucker, and damn sure not better than goddamn deceased, or even more respectable than deceased. In my, in my my humble ass fucking opinion, you're allowed to disagree, and I do like his fix. I'm just saying, deceased doesn't get nowhere near the credit they fucking deserve. So to answer your goddamn question, go man, I would probably say for the first demo, Return of the Evil Side, um, but they're all extremely fucking good. What's so cool about their demos too 
is a lot of the tracks are unreleased uh, that never made any of the albums. Um, so you kind of like, that's what's kind of annoying when you get like, like the Possessed demo. It's like, eh, it's fine. It's three songs from the album that sound much, much shittier. And the Deceased demos sound good, too. That's what's also fucking great. They sound good. They have tons of different character because they don't sound anything like the album and unreleased songs. So if you don't know the Deceased demos, to me, you're not UG. You're not an underground fucking true goddamn first generation goddamn death metal. So highly recommend going out and fucking get getting it. Hells did, like I said, uh, they come on several times. They come on, like I said, the Radiation Years disc. I have that. There's Death Metal from the Grave disc. That was the one from the 90s. I think that has the, the second, third, fourth demo. Then there's the Evil Side of Religion demo that came out on a separate disc, which I have that. I have all, all three of these. But the best release, and I'm not just saying this we put it out, makes no difference to me once, one way or another. Not the sales pitch, yeah, because we've been sold out for years. So if you go buy it, you're buying it on Discogs, eBay, or whatever. Is, the, is it a triple or quadruple LP we did? And the first 100... Is it, 100, first 100 or the first 50, it might even be the first 50, but maybe 100, is the big ass coffins. Got one in my office to this day. Maybe one of these days, I mean, if there's enough requests, who, maybe I'll do a separate video, which is a bit better while, and it's kind of a fucking project, to be honest with you. Well, I'll open up the coffin for you guys. That's the whole video. I'll just go through that release for you. How many guys are interested? Put in the goddamn comments. Who, who wants to see the deceased coffin box set that uh, Hell's Headbangers put out fucking what, uh, 10 years ago now? Nine years ago now? That has all the demos. It has the Return of the Evil Side Religion and uh, Second, Third, Fourth. It has everything. And I think you've got a couple of rehearsals or something in there. That's your best release. But there was 400 copies was just the trifold cover without the coffin. And you would at least have all the goddamn music. Go and get that. Um, you could probably find one on eBay Discogs for, you know, 50, 60 bucks. That's pretty expensive. Not really. It's it's it's, a, it's, a, it's at least a triple LP. It might even be quadruple. I can't remember. It's been a while since I looked at it. Not that big of a ripoff. If you're getting it for under 100 bucks, I think that's kind of a buy. That's mandatory metal. You need to fucking go to your goddamn. You can't go to your that death metal from the grave. Can't go to your grave without goddamn it. As far as I'm concerned, some of the best music ever, and most underrated ever. Uh, Count DeGrelly, should, should I try Flesh Grind Destined for Destined for Defilement? Yeah, that's a great album. If you like the brutal shit, um, then go with that. That's the best album. That's your first album. Well, it's the best album for me. I mean, it's the first one I heard. It's like that. Uh, uh, the other stuff's good too, but yeah, that's great. Um, put it to you this way: if you're if you're going this deceased demos or flesh grind, which one? I mean, deceased demos every day of the week. I mean, a flesh grind doesn't even hold a fucking candle to the goddamn deceased demos, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, but it is a good record. I owned it. I, I mean, I own it. I listen to it still. No, no not fair. You know, probably once every two and a half, three years or so. Um, I got it back when it first came out. Um, I have the 12 inch picture of this. I now have the LP of it. Uh, who put it out? Uh, it was a corpse crystal that reunited uh, a few years ago. We called it something different. He did Infernal Dominium, Flesh Grind. He did Discord Chronic Corporate Infest in recent times. He did the Dead and LP. Because uh, actually, when uh, Rich died, I asked about it, but I was trying to do it even before that. Rich Lipscomb, Destined for Defilement was one I wanted Hell's Headbangers to do on vinyl for well over 10 years. But it was one of those deals. Uh, it was kind of when Rich. Uh, basically disappeared in the scene. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. I heard he was like a healer in Africa or some shit. And uh, so never, never got a hold of anything. But when he died, I asked, uh, what fuck's the guy call himself? Dogma Burning or whatever is his email. I talked to the guy, uh, but if it's under Corpse Crystal, but it's not Corpse Crystal. Maybe it is Corpse I don't remember. Who he died. But he's the one that put it out. Well, I think he put it out last year. But I bought, bought one of them. I think he did three different colors. I asked him before it came out. I think it was right around COVID. I was like, Hell's, who, what would it take for uh, Hell's Headbangers to put this out on vinyl? So he's like, I'm actually doing it. He's like, it's actually a sent to press. Well, cool. Let me know when it's out. I was like, I'd like to get one. Um, so that was on my mind. I thought it was good enough to, uh, for Hell's to put out for, for years and years. Because all, all it was out on was CD and 12-inch Picture This. And I think that album came out, it was 99 or 2000? Whatever that, and that's all I own. It would never came out on a regular 12-inch. But it is now. So, yeah, check it out. You like the brutal shit? Uh can't go wrong. It's of the same era. That album came out around the time, you know, like Regurgitation, Tales of Necrophilia, the early Cock and Ball Torture stuff, Devourment, Aborted, Lividity, D Deeds of Flesh, I mean, uh, Pyemia, Severe Torture, that whole late 90s, early 2000s uh, era, which I thought a lot of good bands came out in that time. Prophecy, uh, Centuri, I mean, tons, tons and tons of bands, right? Mortal Decay, uh, they were in that, they were in that category. Category. So if you like any of that shit, yeah, go with it. Okay, one more goddamn fucking question. 
Rick G, hey, J-Dog, would you rather listen to Hootie and the Blowfish for hours on end or Morbid Angel Kill a Cop, Kill a Cop for hours on end? Uh, I'd have to go with the Kill a Cop, Kill a Cop, although that is more a little bit more offensive to me because Morbid Angel is one of the godfathers, one of the greats, even though a previous goddamn video thrown David Vincent on the bus, um, which I still stand by, but I mean, let's call it like it is. He did do shit that's some of the greatest metal music ever in my personal, humble fucking opinion. So he gets that credit. So to see where he went and go on that record, it's almost painful. As a hootie just always was just the most trash fucking garbage under the face of the earth. So it would be more painful listening to Morbid Angel because I never liked anything about hootie, obviously. But as far as what would be more supplable, just forget previous shit or what you liked or who was in what. I mean, the hoodie, dude, that is, that, that's literally a form, that's a form of torture right there. You want to fucking torture a prisoner to get some goddamn information out of them? Just put, sit them with fucking hoodie blaring full fucking volume, goddamn it, in a room. His arms tied behind his back so he can't cover his ears. That's, that's total fucking torture. You'll get any answers you want out of him because worst shit on the fucking face of the goddamn earth is hoodie. No doubt about it. Creed's right behind the two, goddamn it. After that's Tool, goddamn it. Yeah, I said that's right, goddamn it. That Tool's still not a metal band. Kyle's questions, sir. Kyle's boss getting answered in the morning. Later, goddamn it. 